Welcome to another World Talk with Lady Diane. In today's video, I wanted to share with you 10 points on how not to let things bother you. We will all have to deal with stress in our life, but we are all different. So we all react differently to different type of situation. What works for me may not work for you, but it doesn't cost you anything to try. And how would you know what works for you if you don't give it a try? You need to acknowledge and know that some things will be out of our control. You shouldn't feel guilty if you cannot fix everything. And that was one thing that I was doing all the time. I was feeling guilty and I was feeling bad because things doesn't work out the way I want them to work out because I cannot fix everything. Telling yourself and accepting that there are things that you cannot do and things that you cannot fix will help you to not feel like a failure when things does not work out. And remember, we all make mistakes. One thing that I also do is exercise. Exercising is not just beneficial for your physique, but it's also beneficial for your mental well-being. And it also allows you to take your mind off whatever it is that is bothering you. You also need to lean on your friends and community. It's very important to have people around you. So you have to build your circle of support. You have to build your community. Three, four, it doesn't matter the number, but you need to have people that you know you can count on them when you need support. It's harder to deal with things when you are all by yourself. When you reach out to your friends, family, people who are there for you, it allows you to have distraction, but also to get some advice on whatever it is that bothers you. The fourth point is, I will say, my favorite one, is to write down whatever it is that bothers you. Write down your feelings, your thoughts, everything that you're going through, you need to write them down. It's another way of communicating. Because when you keep things inside of you and you boiling, 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 your mind becomes very messy and you're not able to see clear. You're not able to think. But when you write them down, you can visualize whatever it is that is going inside of you and you can come with a plan of action, which is our fifth point. You will then come with a plan of action where you're gonna list everything that you can do, every little step that you can take in order to make things better. By writing down your feelings and coming with an action plan, it help you to reframe your thinking because now it's tidy. Now you can see and think properly. You also need to do ma what makes you happy. If you are dealing with, I don't know, a project, you are dealing with whatever it is that bothers you, whatever it is that is hard for you to achieve, you need to take time to do something that makes you feel good about yourself. Because at that moment where you are dealing with whatever it is that you are dealing with, your level of stress will rise higher if you don't take time to do something else. You need to do whatever it is that you know will make you smile. And it's hard to do it because when you're dealing with your issues, you only think about your issues. But you need to push yourself into doing something else. Something that will make you happy. It will not make whatever it is that is bothering you go away. Not at all. But it will decrease the level of negative self-talk you're having with yourself. It will change into a more positive self-talk. Because right now, you're doing something you're capable of doing, but also something that makes you happy. Whenever like things doesn't go as I want them to go, I take my time to do something that I know I'll be happy about. I'll be doing some clothes. I'll be playing with my daughter because her smile is going to make me smile. Her smile is going to take me away from whatever it is that is bothering me. Whatever it is that you're doing and that makes you happy, will decrease the level of stress that you are dealing with. You need to forgive and let go, which you can imagine was something that was hard for me to do. But hard to do doesn't mean impossible to do. By forgiving, 
people, yourself, and letting go, you allow yourself to see certain situation from a different angle. You allow yourself to analyze and learn from your mistakes or somebody else's mistakes. And you need to know, holding on to the past, holding on to stress, holding on to negative things will only stop you from moving forward because you're not able to plan and see positivity. But take time to learn to let things go. You also need to do breathing exercise. Breathing exercise is amazing. I used to hear people talking about breathing exercise and I used to think, I can breathe, I'm still alive, so that means I'm breathing. You're breathing, yes, but are you breathing properly? When you take time to focus on your breathing, you need to try it. I can promise you, it's to allow you to hold on to the maximum quantity of oxygen that your body needs. Remember, your entire body needs oxygen. So make sure you give it to yourself, but you also giving it to yourself in the right way. So whenever I feel out of control of anything, I will sit and I will focus on my breathing. And while I'm doing so, I will repeat to my inner self that it's okay. It's okay. Little talk, little gentle talk with yourself while you are bringing the right amount of oxygen to your body. It's very important and beneficial. You also need to take a break sometimes. I used to think that if I have to do something, if I have to deal with something, I need to put all of my energy into whatever it is that I'm doing. Sometimes it does not work. Because the more energy you're putting into it, the less you're having for yourself. So, which means you are unable to think properly, you're unable to plan properly, which also means that the situation is not changing and you're getting more and more stress, disappointment, anger. Yeah. All of those. But when you take time to move away, and please trust me, moving away doesn't mean that you are weak. Taking a break doesn't mean that you are giving up. No, it means that you need to reset. You need to focus on yourself. You need to build up your level of energy again to be able to come back stronger, smarter, and then you will succeed. Whenever you take a break, you will come back with new ideas because when you're away from whatever it is that you are dealing with, you can actually rethink. You may be in front of a door trying to push forward, but you don't see that you can go through the right side or the left side. But when you move away, it allows you to analyze the situation from a different angle. Don't beat yourself up. It's okay not to be okay for how long until it feels right. That's the real question you should ask yourself. And the last point, last but not least, is to keep on practicing those things. Remember, you are on a journey of self-discovery. It's not something that is going to happen overnight. And you can trust me when I'm saying this, but it's a work in progress. So you are making progress. Keep going, keep pushing. You got this. I really like, as usual, sharing whatever it is that I have learned, whatever it is that works for me with you. Remember, I am not a teacher. I'm not here to teach you. I learn and I come to share with you. So please do share with me whatever it is that help you to not let things bother you. Please, I'll be happy to hear it. I'll be happy for you to share those with me as well. Remember what I said to you, we're all different. So different things will work for different people. So please do let me know what works for you. We're coming to the end of this talk. I will see you in another Real Talk with Lady Diane. Until then, remember, be you, be free.